Stop it, Lou. Every week it's the same thing with the thing right in front of my kisser. Oh, well, you've got into And that reminds me why that girl does that. That that reminds me of something. What? Was that really something you were fixing up on a telephone with Hillary about a date or something? That's none of your business. Well, yeah. I think it is because every time I see some girls on a telephone for me right away, you say you shouldn't do this and you always bore me out. Uh, well, you, you're crazy about girls. That's all you talk about is girls, girls, girls. With me, it's different. I like friendship. Boys and girls, to me, they're good friends. Yeah. That's all. They're both the same to me. They're both the same. Sure. Boys and girls are both the same to you. Sure. What's the matter? Wait till you try getting in the YWCA. Are you in for a surprise? <laughs> Four scores and seven years ago, our forefathers brought upon this continent a new nation. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Abraham Lincoln said that. Abraham Lincoln said this? Certainly. Are you kidding? I'm not kidding. This material is original. I wrote this ah, material myself. Stop it. Every little schoolboy knows that. How do you like that? Once you get something original, somebody else got to steal it. Yeah, you, you talking? Where do I get my hands on Lincoln? Lincoln is dead. <laughs> dead? Yes. See what I mean? See what? One day I pass up without reading the papers and you don't know what's going on. Oh, stop. Why don't you write something original? If you're going to steal, steal something like the, uh, like the, the Declaration of Independence. Now, there's something, you know, if you're going to steal something, of course, you know what the Declaration of Independence is. Yeah, that's a divorce. That's a... <laughs> Certainly not. You mean it? Don't you, don't you know where the Declaration of Independence was signed? Sure I do. Yes, where? On the bottom line. Yeah. <laughs> Give out plenty of cigars and kiss all the babies. We need votes. No, no, no. Excuse me, sir. Have a cigar. Have a cigar. Ah, the boy. And I want you to vote for me as councilman of your whole neighborhood here. Because if, I, if you vote for me as councilman, I am going to give you everything that you folks want around here. Hey, come here there. Have a cigar. Vote for Ruth Costello. This is all right, kid. You're doing all right. Let's get some more votes. How do you do? How do you think my chances are? Not very good. My husband's walking right by me. What kind of fun am I getting around here? Easy. Get the vote for anybody. How do you do? I guess you know who I am. Yes, of course. Well, I'd know you anywhere. Why, well, you're Figaro Cacciatore, the great Italian opera singer. I'm the great Italian opera. What? You mean opera singer? <laughs> Have a cigar. Does it make? <laughs> Oh, I think about you every night. This kid's lost. Look at those big brown eyes and those flashy clothes. Look, lady, I think you got me mixed up. Oh, I'm... how could I possibly be mixed up? I'm, 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 I want you to vote for me for I, Castleman. I want you to know that every day I think about you when I work and when I eat and at night when I dream. Now, well, wait a minute. Who I... do you think I dream about? I don't know who. I dream about you. About me? Who am I? Yes, I just want to hold you tight. Now, wait a minute, lady. Look. my lips I, I got to yours. Wait, four score and seven years old? Sing an area, sing a high C. Are you kidding? Sing. I can't sing a note. <laughs> spirit of the boy. Now, friends, today I give you a man who is loved by all the community. You all love him. He's a man that is not connected with any particular party. Is he a Republican? No. Is he a Democrat? No. He is a combination of a Republican and a Democrat. He sure is. He eats like an elephant and thinks like a jackass. <laughs> give you your next councilman, Mr. Louis Costello. Hooray! Give me a speech, boy. Fellow voters, I want you to support me <laughs> as your city councilman, and I promise you, ladies and gentlemen, that I will do away there will be no taxes, no gambling, no lather, no brush, no love until my baby comes home. Until baby... 
Again, I say, ladies and gentlemen, you may be thinking as to what Mr. Abbott said, when I am not either, I could have said either, <laughs> that I am not either or either a Republican or a Democrat. I am in the middle. That is commonly known as the fusion party. I have done away with that too. I stand behind my party. Confusion. <laughs> Confusion party. That's what you think. I... Peanuts, a pop of corn, a chocolate cover, a dumbbell. I beg your pardon, sir. We're up here. Just a plain of dumbbell. Now, wait a minute, Master Bachigalo. Bachigalo, please. Uh, this is your next councilman. Respect. I want you to have little respect for me. I'm getting a little enough from you lately. Go on with us, If I'm the next councilman, I'll see that you don't get no permit. No, no, if you no, don't no, do no, what's no, right. Be nice. I've got to show my authority. All right, go ahead. Go on with the speech. Ladies and gentlemen, and also the voters, you can plainly see that I am... Nuts! Nuts! <laughs> I told you to keep quiet. I won't tell you again. Get off the ground. Go ahead, Mr. May I slug him with a small chair? <laughs> Certainly not. I'm going to vote for you. My wife, I'm a matter for 20 years, is she going to vote for you too? My 18 kids, are they going to vote for you too? You married 20 years and you've got 18 kids? Uh, sure. The stalker gave me two years off. Good behavior. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Bonsolo. Will you get on your way, please? I'm trying to make a speech here. Mr. Costello, please, I have some great news for the audience. While gazing around here, I happen to spy a little lady. And when I say a little lady, she is a lady. Who was Mr. Costello's school teacher when he was in the fourth grade of public school? Isn't that wonderful? Ah, yes, Miss Bacalock. I introduce Miss Bacalock to the folks. Hello, voters. I wish to have you know Miss Bacalock, my fourth grade school teacher. Miss Bacalock, it's nice to have you at this meeting here. Thank you. You remember when I was in the fourth grade? You remember me, don't you? No, I don't. <laughs> don't you remember the little boy that always had his hand up? Oh, yes. You may go now. Thank you. <laughs> and now, our neighbors, Mr. Costello is here, willing and ready to answer any vital questions pertaining to our grand and glorious city. Any questions at all? Yes, I have a question. How do you stand on the fiscal policy of this town? Are you in favor of issuing debentures, or would you coordinate the fiduciary interests and allow for normal amortization? Uh, Are there any other questions? Now, fellow voters, this I want to tell you something from the bottom of my heart. Standing up here on this platform, you really think I am nothing at all? If you elect me, you're electing the right man, the honest man, I love to do nice things for people of all walks and types in life. Because when you... Trouble now, miss. Uh, pardon me, little lady, what's wrong? Oh, I took my daddy's shoes to be repaired, and they lost them. And oh, if I well, go home... With please, them... please, come say right no here. more. Won't you come up here? That's what your counselor wants to do for all of you. Ladies and gentlemen, this poor little girl lost her daddy's shoes. And our councilman, our next councilman, will take care of that matter as he's taking care of all matters. Give the little lady your shoes. Give the little lady your shoes. Give the little lady your shoes. Votes. Votes. Oh, votes. I got out. If I give you a pair of shoes, will you take them home to your daddy? Oh, yes. Well, there they are. Pick them up. There you are, my friend. Now, now, take now. Take them home to your daddy. Oh, and tell him to you. vote for Luke Costello for city councilman. Oh, my daddy will vote for Luke Costello. Thanks Thank so you, little lady. lady. You see, there's one vote we've got, my friend. How do you like that? That's the kind of a councilman you want in office to help all. Now, ladies and gentlemen. As I am standing here, as Abraham Lincoln said, four score and seven years ago, he was a barefoot boy, too, with no shoes on. And as he was walking through the woods, I'll never forget the first please, time please. that Abraham... A little lady in distress come right up on the rocks. A little lady... We're always here to help our neighbors. No, just one's wrong. I was wearing my daddy's coat for Halloween, and somebody stole it. Stole your father's coat? And if I go home without it, my daddy will beat me. No, no, no. We can't allow that, can we, folks? No. No, certainly not. Give her your coat. Give her your coat. Give her your own coat. You're not the castle, you? Oh, I'm very sorry, folks. I was a little boisterous at the time. I didn't mean to be. Give her your coat. Come on, come on. 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 Come
give it to your daddy and tell your daddy to vote for Lou Costello. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. There I feel just are. like Abraham Lincoln. Now, that's what I call oh, a real score. Councilman, huh? I know it. Not too much. Four oh, score and seven years ago. Oh! Ah! Come on, get up. It's going to be a habit now. I don't mind being a good guy, but what's it all about? I just, uh, uh, now, just what is wrong with you, dear? My daddy gave me the money to buy him a shirt and tie. And yeah. I spent the money for sewing. I don't know where these kids are coming from, but, but they're all shirts. Shirt and <laughs> Give me your shirt and tie. You kid, I'll just give it a tie. Give me your shirt and tie. Get the kisser on this one. <laughs> I have dogs. Christ, the same way. <laughs> oh, don't you? Sure, I'm going to vote. Give it to her. Here's my tie, little girl. And I'm going to give him my shirt, too. And I want you to tell your daddy to vote for Lucas. Make sure that he votes oh, for Lucas. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> on your way. All right, you can go this way. You better go anyway. Now, hey, now, now friends, listen that little girl. We'll get it later on. Now, friends. Now, friends, Abraham Lincoln felt exactly the same. Ah! Come right up here. Come right this up. This one looks like a banana. Oh, take it easy. What's the matter, little girl? I was ironing this morning and I burned a hole in my husband's trousers. <laughs> Get him, Gordon. But I can't Get go up. home without any trousers. Get out of the way. Get him off. Get him off. Oh, please. Four Get score and seven. Trousers. Get that kid off the screen. Four score and seven years ago. Yeah, but I came in with a pants. Look, I came in with a pants. I came in with a pants. Four score. Oh, oh, Pardon me, madam. Uh, madam! Oh, it's you! Huh? Now, wait a minute! Listen! Now! <laughs> hey, Adam. That was really, really good, wasn't it? Running for office? What do you mean, good? What do you say, you and I, right now? Let's go out and celebrate, do the town over good, and let's crack open a bottle of soda pop. What are you talking about, celebrations? You lost the election. Well, that's good, ain't it? Who wants responsibilities? I don't want that stuff. <laughs> you lost, didn't you? Yeah. What, what have you got to say for yourself? Four score and seven years ago. 